this summer. It's like they feel like a buzz. Um, I don't know, I was just like, and maybe I can, like I a number four. Like bust there because I'm living tape, down like down right now. Mid taper? Yeah. What do you call it? Mid taper? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think would. So would before look good with for this whole like horrible like construction wise, thing, I was with my dad right? in Bradford, which was terrible. I don't know what it meant. I don't know what And uh, my hair doesn't yeah, really like curl up when it gets like short. For like a month or two, because I had my own apartment in there, and I would just ignore him. But uh, for yeah, like uh, six, seven months, you know, like it's like uh, I was so angry, like, cause, but that's a whole other thing. But either way, like I moved because uh, I basically let him book the place because it's an Airbnb. Yeah. No, nothing. And then at least my mom couldn't be like, no, oh, why aren't you going? It's empty. So whatever. So I ended up going with her in the in the condo with her, with my stepdad, which is like super tiny because we didn't know about this whole construction. Thing. Up to six and then we'll and lower and lower. I did that because okay. I got yeah, a job, so right? So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, well, the yeah, and the first yes, yeah, thanks. And then yeah, the I, the I got fired, but I'll line. get into that later. Okay. But uh, yeah, okay. it was a sick job, like not a lot of pay, but it was at Remax, which is I don't know if I told you that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted to do like just an easy office job, and I thought like real estate would be the best like entry because then you can go off off into anything else after yeah. that. So it was a sick job, like a Remax, and I was working like downtown basically, and uh, still didn't have a car, so I had to you know, take TTC, which is annoying, but it's okay at the start, it was kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. But I couldn't handle being in that condo anymore. I had like no alone time at all. Like I would come home and it just felt like I had a second full-time job, you know? Because sure. like, I'd have no privacy in that place, you know, I'd, I had to share a room and stuff. So I'm just like, okay, I like the job, I'm making money, so I'm like, look, since the house is going to be ready soon anyway, you know, our house in Aurora, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, let's get an Airbnb, and I paid out the ass for it, because it was so short notice, I paid 2400 yeah. and it's already paid for, and then, uh, for, how long for 31 days, yeah, okay. so, whatever, and it was literally walking distance from my work, the Airbnb, and then the day I was moving out, I got fired. Yeah. Like the day you're moving out yeah, four days ago. Like the, the day you're gonna move into there. Yeah, and I already moved in now. It's too late. I already paid, right? So That's I moved crazy. in. And plus, I wanted to go anyway. Like I wanted to get an Airbnb anyway because of the whole stupid house thing. And the house should be ready in like you know end of this end of next month anyway. But uh, yeah. What happened after the job? So obviously, first three months you're on probation. So you know, they can fire you for any reason, right? Yeah. So. Even though everything was going well and I was like starting to meet people and like even, it's funny, like on the same day, like even like like a girl was showing interest in me like on that same yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. It's no big deal though, but uh, yeah, it's the dumb, it's like the craziest story like you'll ever hear. Like everything was going well, like my supervisor was happy with me, like everything's going well. And then my uncle, he's an agent with, with Remax, like our specific branch of Remax. Yeah. And coincidentally enough, still, he called because I have to answer phones on this job. It was technically a receptionist job, but it was still pretty cool because most of the job is just like on the computer, like doing easy, like work with appointments and stuff like that and, and listings. It was pretty fun. But, you know, I have to answer phones every now and then. And my uncle calls. I see his caller ID, so I'm like, oh, that's funny. Like, my uncle's is coin. He didn't even know I worked there. So it was funny. And I answered the phone, like, guess who this is? So it's funny. And then he tells me, oh yeah, can you page an agent for me? Because that's why people usually call. So I thought it was funny because just a few days ago with that same agent he wanted to talk to, I had like a difficult time with. And someone told me that they're really like hard to deal with, like these particular agents, like they don't know what they're doing, something like that. So I tell them that, I'm like, oh, I heard that, that this person, you know, is like a nightmare to deal with. I just slipped out. I said that over the phone. And then, my supervisor goes in and listens later th on that day because I'm in training. Yeah. I don't know she's listening to every second I'm on the phone and she's like, oh, that's a breach of confidentiality because you said that. And like, I said, yeah, I know, like, I just slipped out, like, and uh, I, I was just repeating what someone else told me, like, another office told me that these agents are hard to deal with. I don't even know them personally. Wait, so who did you say that to on the phone? I just said it to my uncle. It was just oh. me and him on the phone. I thought I was having private conversation. And she's like, oh, because you're in training, we're listening to your calls. Yeah, yeah. And so she fired me because apparently a breach of confidentiality, which is like the dumbest, like, 
it wasn't even my words. Someone else told me. And I'm just like, yeah. And then she's even like, yeah, I understand it's your uncle. Like, I, I understand why it slipped out. But then she's like, oh, but I can't risk you having doing it in the future with someone else. Yeah. And then I'm just like, okay, but me and my mom and my stepdad are like, that's so dumb. Like, that just because I did it with my uncle doesn't mean I'm going to do it with someone else in the future. Like, that's just a, that's such a huge, like, leap. It's like, really? Oh, you think I'm going to leak confidential information in the future to a random stranger? Like, it's so silly. And I'm just like, okay. But I learned a lot from the training, and I'm just going to apply to the same job again. And hopefully, uh, it shouldn't take as long as before to get a new job. It should be, I already have, like, recruiters looking at my LinkedIn. I can see, like, they're doing my profile, and I just applied yesterday. So, like, it's I'm getting attention way, way quicker. Whereas before, you like dead silent. So, yeah. you know. And plus, the other thing is, uh, apparently, the insurance is coming through soon for like the whole damage to the house. Yeah. So, I'm thinking it's like six. I'm probably gonna get a big six. like okay. some chunk of that. Uh, so I don't really have to worry about money. Yeah, I'm good to go just, down I just want to have a job yeah. for like other reasons, you know, yeah. I want to get out of the house, stuff like that. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty insane. Oh yeah, that was, that was just a silly idea my mom threw out. Because my cousin is there, uh, and she works in real estate. But apparently my cousin is mad at me. But that's that that's not why we're not going to Alberta though. Like that was she just planned my mom just threw out this dumb idea like, oh we'll just go there for a month for a vacation. And then I know. And I'm like I'm like, yeah, right. And then of course we're not doing it. Yeah, it's not a nah, I'm good here. It's just you know, rent is insane. Like it's it's literally a joke. Um, if you look at the numbers, like how it was 10 to 20 years ago, it's like hilarious. Um, but uh, honestly, I'd be willing to commute from Aurora as long as I get a car. It's a job I like, so it's not a big deal. It's really like small, it's literally just like a room basically with a kitchen inside of it. It's a studio, but it's actually pretty cool. Like, it has, it really gives off like student resident vibes. But it's pretty okay. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and I, you know, it's better vibes. It's not like my dad's house where it's like the whole day I'm just like, oh, I have to ignore him, ignore him, you know. No, at the condo in my, in my dad's house, I actually had my own apartment, but I was like paying rent for it because it's an Airbnb. Cause I, cause like no way in hell I'm gonna go live upstairs, you know, in the different, the, the same unit as him with like, you know, just one room and that's it. I was like, no, nah, I need to have my own apartment. There's no way I'm gonna, you know, cause I don't have a good relationship with my dad, but you know, that's a whole other thing. But uh, yeah, it was, but then at the condo, it's like, I don't mind living with my mom and my stepdad, like I'm okay with them, but yeah, I was like sharing a room and uh, yeah. yeah my stepdad, he used, basically, he just used that room as his office, but there's a bed in there, so anytime he needs the office, I can't be in there, like, there's no room to put, like, my own, you know, TV in there or anything yeah, like that. Together. No, 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 he just slept in the other room, you know, the master bedroom. But honestly, I could have managed if I didn't have a job, like, because then... You know, there's yep, I'm like yeah, at home all like day, yeah. so I can obviously find the time to be alone. But if I'm going to work every day and then coming home, and then it's like, oh, look at that, no privacy, it's too much. to her. <laughs> yeah. 
come you wanted to mark them for you? Just wanted to move out like the independent or something? Or? No, no. So we basically we were in Markham and then we moved to our grandparents' house. This was like right before COVID. Oh, this was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. And then we recently moved back to Markham. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you get into this Sorry? again? You said Oh, yeah. I start work next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, like, I finished school, so yeah. I'm starting my first time. Okay. Yeah, I'm on there. So I have yeah. May off to just kind of chill. Yeah. 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 Yeah
It's crazy too, cause like I think like like the Toronto shows for Drake and Twenty One mm -hmm. were like I think five hundred like starting. So like, yeah, we paid like seventy bucks for Budweiser and got to see Drake. So I mean, it's kind of a win. Wow. So wait, say that again. The 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 Toronto show for Drake and who? Like twenty one. Like when they were touring for their last uh, album. Mm -hmm. um, it was five hundred. I think yeah. Like. For but then like, with but then with with just twenty one, it was seventy. Yeah, yeah. When tickets dropped for, um, he had two shows. He had one on Saturday, and then. The, the second night was this Monday. It was, uh, like, Lawn, Lawn was only, like, $70. So it was, like, not too bad, considering, like, I don't know, Toronto sometimes is, like, way too expensive. Mm -hmm. Concerts and shows? No, but um, two weeks ago, yeah. I went to um, Jordan Lucas. Are you familiar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I went to Jordan Lucas and Dax. They had a show. Oh, nice. Which, uh, which venue was that at? That was at Danforth Music Hall. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. sick. How those guys sound live? I know they, like, sounded, they sounded good. That's like the track? Yeah, we also hmm? like just like yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Dax is really good. Nice. Matter of fact, Jordan was good, but I feel like his music was too loud. His um, his music was too loud, so it drowned out his voice. Oh no. Whereas Dax's music wasn't as loud. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't know if you noticed that when you watch J JID, mm. he probably sounded good, right? Yeah. But then when Twenty One came out, his music was way louder. Yeah, that's that's. I don't actually, know if you noticed that. No, that's actually true. Like now you mentioned that, yeah, like the. Um, like, J.I.D., the focus was definitely, like, on his mic, like, mm -hmm. on him spitting. But 21 was, like, more focused on just a beat, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, so, so their music's way louder. So what happens sometimes is that when the main act comes out, their music is so loud that it, it kind of interferes with the quality of the vocals that you'll hear mm -hmm. coming out, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it, like, Jordan Lucas was good. His music was good. Everything was good. Yeah. I felt like if there was more control over the, the way the mic sounded, it would have sounded way better. Yeah. So, because, I don't know, are you familiar with Dax? Is he Canadian? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard, I've heard like, uh, some of his songs, yeah. Right, so, when he was performing, like, his music to, his music to vocal ratio was perfect, you know, and, and he's also a great performer. Yeah. So, but everybody else that I went with, they really loved Jordan Lucas's um, show. Okay, okay, that's good, yeah. Because he also had a good show, you know. Mm -hmm. It honestly depends too, because like, if like the crowd is really filled with like true fans, you know, like they'll be yes, they'll be rapping the lyrics. Too, Regardless, right? you're right. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Like I kind of notice that like sometimes like artists will use that to their uh, benefit, right? Like mm -hmm. catch a breath, you know, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
almost every parking lot in it, if you have a park, it's basically like a whole other $600 a month. No, not $600. Maybe $100. Yeah, now that I got the feel for it though, I definitely want to go to like more shows and mm -hmm. see more artists. Plus, honestly, uh, like, Vancouver is like the best city to go to Who would you like to see? Oh, that's a good question. Actually, uh, funnily enough, like uh, Sunday night, Bryson Tiller mm -hmm. also performed in Toronto at right. Budweiser. Was that the same night? No, that was the night before, actually. Mm -hmm. But again, like, you know, tickets weren't too bad. I just, like, the timing didn't work out. Got you. You would have you'd have liked to see him. Yeah, yeah. Like, I listened to him back in high school and stuff, so mm -hmm. it would have been, been cool. I mean, like, I know, like, so many other people would say, but, like, you know, even Drake, like, seeing, like, seeing his actual show would be sick. Mm hmm Of course it would be. Yeah. Despite all, like, the negativity around him right now, like, still, like, so many, uh, so many throwbacks. Down, How many songs did Drake do? He did, like, uh, I think two or three. Yeah. Like, I guess he was still trying to keep the focus on 21, but... Mm -hmm. Did he do any of his own songs, or was it, was it all songs that involved 21? Yeah, it was, like, all, like, the, their, like, collab songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about Dax and Joyner? Do they have like a couple like uh, collabs? No, they didn't have any collabs. Oh, no way, okay. No. Been keeping up with the playoffs? I have been. Yeah. 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 Who you got right now? Celtics or Mavs? No, I'm now I'm going with um Kyrie. Yes. Yeah. Kyrie, I want him to pay back. Get you know get retribution for all that negativity. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Now he's misunderstood for sure, and he can hoop still like.
some sort of like societal pressure. Because yeah, yeah. like, rent is, it's insane. Who's your favorite artist right now? Ooh, right now? Mm -hmm. Man. Uh, you heard of like Brent Fires? Like yeah, Brent Fires, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's your guy right now. Yeah, I've been messing with this music a lot lately. What's the song that you would um, recommend? He's got one called like Clouded that's pretty good. It's got like like a chill but like also turn up type of vibe, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But <laughs> some of his other songs are pretty toxic, though. Like I'm in a I'm in a happy relationship, but like <laughs> I still be bumping it. Do you find that they influence your frame of thinking sometimes, or not? I mean, I think I think it shows like another side of like like another mindset of like what. Uh, what type of timing you could be on, you know? Mm. But, I don't know, like, in my case, I think it just... Just like, entertainment. Me, yeah, entertainment, yeah. It makes me, like, I don't know. I'm happy with my situation, you know, but... You ever get into, like, a little heated situation with your with your, your partner and then you start <laughs> reciting some Brent Fires lyrics in your head? Yeah, yeah, sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> maybe, yeah. Or, you know, like... You get into a fight in the car, you know, just change, change the track. <laughs> Subliminal message, you know. How about you? You got like a go-to artist right now you can listen to or um, mix it up or? Can't lie, Drake is my go-to artist. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Like, I don't know, she's just got a song for every vibe, you mm -hmm. know? <laughs>
Yeah, there's a saying I've seen online, it's like, don't, don't drink and drive, you know? Mm -hmm. like, late at night. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Yeah. You gotta forget about like where you're headed and just keep on keep on driving, man. Or just get into your feels. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Planet of the Apes? No, I haven't yet. Any of them? No, I've seen the first two, uh, Rise and Dawn. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't seen War. I haven't seen War yet. Did you check out the... Yeah, I just Kingdom? watched them all last week. So I need to watch the... I'm going to see the, the other one, the new one in the movie. Oh, nice. Did you like binge the, the first three? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. 
I heard really good things about War though. Like What's the last one called? One? Like Kingdom, Kingdom of the Planet. Of the oh, Earth Kingdom. Yeah. Mm. You say you heard good things about War? Yeah, yeah. Or Kingdom. The, um, no, about like the War, like the one I didn't see yet mm -hmm. as well. But I think I think I've heard good things about the new one too. I guess I'm getting mixed reviews about War. Like, I liked it, but yeah. um, some people say they didn't like it. Okay, okay. Some people what? say it's good, some people say yeah. it's not. What have you heard about the... I haven't heard anything about the new one, oh, actually. Okay. How do you usually uh, meet women in this way? Sorry? I mean, I think it's impressive when, like, you have, like, a movie that's, like... I don't know, has like a lot of like CGI like that, mm -hmm. but like they're still able to like have a good story and like, mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, tell a good story and yeah, have good characters, you know? Yeah. Like even like avatars like that. Yeah. And, um, yeah. like, I used to be into the Marvel movies when I was like younger in high school, mm -hmm. but like, yeah. Like, I know, after a while, like, they stopped telling, like, good stories, you know? It was ah, just, like... okay. It was just, um... Action. Action, yeah. It was cool, like... Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but... You get, like, I guess, like, fatigued, you know? Tired yeah, of like, the same old. Like, obviously, you can, you can do it, like, it can work for you, but... If you look at the bigger picture... Yeah. But for me personally, I would go further and say that it's just better to meet them in like your daily environment. That's why it's like... Plan to see like IMAX or 3D or anything? Or? I have no. Just just across from at the mall. I mean at um. Oh, like the downtown market. Downtown market. Yeah, yeah. So who do you say is going to win the, the, the title? I got Dallas right now. You got Dallas. Yeah, I think Luka and Kyrie is a deadly, a deadly duel. It's crazy the way things have turned out, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, like, like in this current era, like, it's crazy how a team can go from like missing the playoffs one year and like, I don't know, bouncing back and being contenders the next year. Like, even two years ago, that, that happened with Golden State. Mm -hmm. Everyone counted them out and then came back, right? So.
And the East, though, I found myself just cheering for like old old Raptors, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. Pascal in Indiana and uh, OG. OG in the Knicks, yeah. Honestly, the Knicks were like a fun team to watch. They were, not a lie. Yeah, like the hustle and. Josh Hart was super surprising. Oh, yeah. What are we going to do with the beard? Uh, can we do like a beard fade in the lineup? All right. All right. Yeah, the Knicks fans are crazy too. Like every game, like Madison Square Garden, you can just hear how loud it was. Yeah, they were fun to watch on social media. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes.
Do the ash cap? Perfect. I don't think there's an option. No option. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with like, this like, paper inside, but I'm going to think about the next one. But right now, I'm just like... You know what I'm saying? Like, trying to go back into Oh, like, yeah, kind of like, just like, more and more. Like, 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Close your eyes. Yeah. Yeah, the yard is like, must be 255. 